how to remove colour from images in Affinity Designer. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP low content books, printables and digital planners. So in today's video, I'm actually showing you how to use Affinity Designer to actually remove colour from a number of different file types, essentially JPEGs, PNGs and SVGs. Uh, JPEG and PNGs, it's pretty much the same way that you can go about doing it. I'm going to show you the way that actually makes JPEG so that you have a transparent background, and then I'll show you the PNG way and then the SVG. So I went to create a Fabrica and actually got these images here that you can see. Um, they do actually come with PNG, the SVG, the JPEGs, and they are quite big images they are sized at 10 and 10 inches by 10 inches now you need to know that with jpegs and pngs the resolution is usually about 72 dpi so this is the different files here so usually if you do get an option to work with either svgs or esps they are the best because you can scale them as big as you want or as little as you want without any pixelization because they are vector images that actually uses mathematical equations to actually create the images. Whereas pixel, whereas JPEGs and PNGs, they rely on uh, dots per inch, which the bigger they go, the more pixelated they become. So if you do have to work with PNGs and JPEGs, make sure you have the largest images you can get so that you're scaling down rather than scaling up and the likelihood of pixelization is far less. So let's dig in. So in Affinity Designer, when you first open up Affinity Designer, it opens up in the Designer Persona. This is usually where you create design and work with your vector images. And then there is the Pixel Persona and the pers Export Persona. Now we're going to work with both the Pixel Persona and the Designer Persona in this video. And the pixel persona is where we're going to actually work with both the JPEG and the PNG to actually remove the color and actually to make this background here transparent. So we will be working on the pixel persona for the JPEG and the PNG. So I'm going to select the pixel persona. And as you can see, a number of different tools appear and they look very similar to what you would see in uh, Photoshop or Photop or any of those sorts of graphic packages. Package. And you can see that um, we have things like the flood select tool, which looks very similar, like the magic wand tool. We have a, a selection tool here. We have our different ellipses and we have our selection brush tool as well. OK, so the first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this layer and then I'm just going to uncheck it. So that's the original layer. If I make a mistake, I can always go back to the original layer. So the first thing that we can do is we can remove this transparent background. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our layer is selected. Then we're going to go to select and we're going to select sample, select sample color. We're going to select on the black color and then we're going to click apply. Now we're going to click on the mask layer which is down here in our layers panel and then we're just going to click there and as you can see it's removed every color so i'm going to then click command d or control d and it actually deselects everything for us now that is great we could go along and take that and use that image anywhere but there's one problem if we place anything behind this sort of image then you'll actually see um everything inside this image and we don't want that. So what you can do is you can actually use this flood select tool or you can use the brush select tool and then you can actually start filling in different areas. Now the flood select tool is actually better for this because it just will select an area and then you can use the bucket tool to fill in. But it is bringing back our original image and that is not what we want. So if I just command D or command Z or control Z to actually undo that action, I now need to rasterize this image so that it's its own layer and it's no longer linked to that background image or to the mask. So I'm going to rasterize it. And now when I use the bucket tool, making sure that I've got white selected on the color wheel, I can drag down and make sure everything is there. Then if I just select that there, you can see it is 
selected all of the area and it's made it white so I could just go in there and now fill in so I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing and again I'm going to select that one and I'm going to fill in I can actually add all of these together by using the mode so if I click on there you can see it is selecting everything but the only thing is when I go back to select the um, filling tool it I still have to click in each individual area so it's great for big areas but it's hard work for little areas and it's selecting all those with the ads on I'm just gonna go now the problem here is I think I've selected the black yes I have so I'm gonna deselect I'm going to zoom in and actually select inside. Make sure I use the add. Oh, and then, yeah, I've got right now. Deselect. Use the add. Flower here and there. Filter. Command D to deselect everything. And there we go. We've got our first one that we've recolored. So that's the JPEG. And we've also given ourselves a transparent background. So our next image that we're going to be working on is our PNG image. Again, we're going to need to make sure that we're in the pixel persona before we start working. I'm also going to make a duplicate of the PNG. I'm going to take this off so that I'm working on the duplicate the duplicate so here we could just use the flood tool and then we can start clicking and um, selecting our area what we could do is we could use the add as well and we can start clicking to add we can also increase our tolerance as well so at the moment I've got it on 41 and I'm selecting all the different areas that we want to make white um, let's get rid of that. In fact, we don't really need that one. There we go. And then I'm going to use the bucket tool and then I'm going to fill in. Now you can see that I've got this like yellow bit left. I'll come back to that on the hat and I'm making sure that everything is white as well. Okay, I'm going to Command D and I'm going to zoom in. Now Command D actually um, deselects everything for me. So I can see what we've still got this here. Now if I keep doing this, it'll start working. But if I up my tolerance, you'll see that it disappears. So that's all you need to do is if you get those sorts of lines, just up your tolerance and then you should get everything nice and clear so that is how to do it with png especially when you've already got a transparent background so svgs let's move on to that that is a different image totally and all we need to do is keep in the vector persona now you might see all your layers here sometimes you don't see your layers sometimes it um appears as embed if it does what you need to do is click on here on your image and then just double click it and it opens it inside another file where you will actually see all your layers so here what we can do is we can select our curves they're all colored and i'm just going to select all of those and then i'm going to go to my color wheel here and as you can see it's showing brown and i'm just going to drag it to white and that's our SVG so you can see how much quicker it is to do it with the SVG. So that is how you can remove color from images in Affinity Designer and it doesn't matter whether it's a JPEG, a PNG 
or an SVG. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified about any other videos. And while you're here, why not go and check out my course where I show you how to create coloring pages using shapes. The link will be down in the description.